guys welcome to this session today we are going to discuss a python problem statement which was asked in google amazon and facebook so the problem statement is i have been given this string s and i need to find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters so for example if i have a if i have a string a b c a b c a b and the length of this string is 8 and i need to find longest substring it can be either a or it can be either ab or abc i need to find the longest substring without repeating any characters and if you see if you see here you can see that it looks like abc and after that a is repeated again b is repeated again so i have i think uh, longest substring of 3 and obviously when i'm going to write a code i need to loop over it and check i can have some string in the beginning or in the mid or somewhere in the end so you can start from b c and a i can say again it, it's still three and if i again extend it okay then i'm going to again have repeated element and same i can start from c a b again after that i go i have I'm going to have a repeated element so that's how you can uh, check it loop over it but how you are going to write code for this you cannot keep extending a to b b to c and c to a and then keep checking like this and you can again start from b c a b c this will take a lot of time and space if you write a a logic like this so what you can do here is you can try sliding you can try sliding basically basically you start from a let me write this again you can start from a and keep going up to the point when it's not repeated and the moment it's repeated you stop you slide by one step and check again and again up to the point where it's not repeated and you can the moment it's repeated again slide over and then again keep checking like this so you need to write an optimized code for this so what you can do is first of all you need to loop over this and you need to store these elements in something where it doesn't take repeated element which is set we can create an empty set and check each element if it's in the, in the set or not and then then take some some action based on that condition so what we can do is first creating an empty set create two variables also so that you can slide and even count uh, how many elements till now you have found which is uh, which is uh, not repeated so let's say i have two variables let's say l equal to 0 is the first first uh position l0 and another i'm creating result variable which is 0 and uh, i'm going to loop over it for let's say i in range of length of s string my string and then i'm saying uh, as long as s of i s of i in my in my char set character set this is my empty set i'm going to if this condition if this condition using while loop if this condition is true i'm going to take some action here else i will add that element i will add that element in char set okay and then i will calculate my result here using maximum uh maximum method of python which will take my previous result and uh, wherever at this point i am i and remove the initial point l plus 1 because i'm starting from index 0 and then i will return this result 
this kind of a method I'm going to apply and I will explain this to you by looping over it over elements of my string. Let's just first write the code. So just bear with me. This video is going to be a little bit long and I'm trying to explain this logic completely by even writing how the loop will work. Just bear with me for some time and see how it works. So I'm going to create my uh, length of longest substring, which will take uh, which will take a um, string, and uh, I'm going to create an empty set first, which will be char set uh, set of characters, and then I'm going to create two variables. One is let's say l zero. It will be in the beginning. I will increase it only the moment I get uh, any repeated element. And another variable result which will count the length of it. Initially, it is zero. Now I'm going to loop over a range of length of string, and then I'm going to check the condition while s of i, which is s is my string, which while this in my char set. If this is in my char set, I'm going to remove. I'm going to remove. <coughs> I'm going to remove s of l because the moment i have got an uh, repeated element i'm going to remove s of l and i will increase increment l by 1 and then if my while condition does not satisfy i'm going to add i'm going to add s of i into this set and i'm going to calculate my result I'm going to calculate my result, which is maximum of previous result and i minus l plus 1. And then I'm going to return result. This will be my logic and I'm going to explain this now by writing this, how it will work. So if you didn't get it properly right now, it's okay. I will show you how this loop is working. Let me just first pass A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, and let's see. Okay, it's giving me correct result, A, B, C. Since I have three, let me try this again. I hope it's not by chance. So I'm going to just change some value here, B, let's say C. D E F should be five this time. Okay, yes. So let's just break this down how it is working. How it is working. So uh, first I'm going to write my string here again. A B C A B C A B. And in the beginning I have this empty set. And I'm starting from, uh, I'm going to loop over it first. And I have two variables also, L is zero and result is zero. So let's say first I equal to zero. What is happening? It is, uh, my code is checking. My code is checking while S of I, what is S of I, S is the string and I is zero. What is S of I? S of i is a. Right now my set is empty. So saying while s of i in in, in char set, which is false. So a while loop, loop will not be executed. And so inside a while loop, I have two lines of code, char set dot remove and increment of l, which will not take place now. So it will add. After that, what is happening? Char set dot add s of i. Char set dot add s of i. I hope uh, you just keep the code uh, in front of you on the uh, either write it down on the paper in your copy so that you can go along with me. So what is happening is cursor dot add if while loop is not executed. This is my line of code. <clears throat> so it will add. Okay. And what will happen? My set will be like this and my result will be max of previous result, which is zero. Previous result is zero. Comma i minus l. i is zero. l is zero right now. 
plus one. This will be my result. This will happen when i is zero. Now let's go. Let's go to i equal to one. When i is one, it will again check the while condition. While s of i, s of i is uh, s of i is uh, b because i is one. Because my element is this. So now I am here right now. So again, I don't have b in my set. So while loop will not be executed. Again, there won't be any removal from the char set. There won't be an increment for l. L will be again zero. And uh, right now my result is one. Okay. As of i is b. Okay. The while loop will not be executed. Now again, I will add b into my set. This will be my new set. And new result, new result will be max of previous result, which is one i minus l plus one. It will be two. Now this is for my i equal to one. Now again in next for loop, what will happen in i equal to two? Again, I will check s of i, and my string is you know. And I'm here right now. S of i is c. So again, while loop will not be executed because it is not in my set. Again, it will append then, and uh, my result will be max of previous result, uh, which is uh, which is two. My previous result l is still zero. Previous result is two. 2 comma i is 2 minus l is 0 plus 1. Obviously 3. This is my output for i equal to 2. This is how it's working. I hope you are getting it. Uh, please keep the code in front of you so that you can understand the logic. Now again I will go for i equal to 3. And this time as of i, since my string is this. Uh, ah, now I'm going to have a repeated element here. So now while loop will be executed. Now my while loop will be executed. So what it will do? It will it is saying carset dot remove. Dot remove. It is saying carset dot remove s of l. My l is zero right now, and result previously from three. It is three. What is s of l? S of L is zero. Okay, L of L equal to S of zero, which is A. It wants me to remove A from my set. Okay, <clears throat> okay, I remove it. Now I have B comma C, and it is saying, it is saying L plus equal to one, which will increment my L equal to one. It will give me L equal to one. Now it's saying that. It's saying that carset dot add s of i. What is s of i? <clears throat> it asks me to remove s of l. Now it wants me to. It wants me to add s of i. And s of i is a. So first it asks me to remove a from the beginning. And now it is saying to add a. See what happened. See where the game is going here, and this was uh, and now my result will be <coughs> the my result will be max of previous result which is three i is uh, i is again three here three minus l l has become one again it will be three so this was all for. This was all for i equal to three. Now, now same thing will happen for i equal to four. Now my while loop each time it will be executed. Currently my uh, set is this, and again it will check s of i if it is in my set or not. And my string is a b c a b c a b. I'm here right now, and it will. 
wait zero one two three no i'm i'm actually here right now okay so see you when you are trying to debug the code trying to understand it it takes a lot of effort uh to debug it it may take uh, an hour or a few hours to just understand the code so just uh, go through the process it's very interesting as of i's b and i have already b again while loop will be executed it is asking me to remove it again and increment the l right now my l is 1 result is 3 and it is asking me to remove so this will be removed and again uh it is it, it is asking me to <coughs> It, oh, actually, it is asking me to remove S of L. What is S of L? L is 1. L is 1. It is asking me to remove this B. Okay. And it is asking me to add S of I, which is I is B. See, the moment the slider is going forward, my previous element is keep being removed. And the next element, next element, is being added. That's how this code is working. That's how this code is working. I'm removing the previous element because uh, the elements are being repeated and uh, I'm keep adding the current elements. So uh, the moment slider will go here, this will be removed. The moment slider will go here, B will be removed. The moment slider will go above, C will be removed. And Again, A will be removed, and at this point, uh, it won't remove anything, you know, because uh, the moment the B is removed, this is my final. That okay, there are no more than three elements consecutively non-repeated. So that's how this code is working. I hope you got the idea of it. Uh, if you still haven't got this thing, I please I request you to write this thing and see how it's working. So this was the logic behind this, and and I hope uh, you understood this. And if you have any problem in this, please write a write a comment. I will respond there. And what's the time complexity? Let's just see the time complexity of it. So I'm having this for loop and it's going to over the length of this string. And for each i, I'm checking the condition in the cursor. So for for loop, it will be n, but since I have this while loop also inside of it, it will be o n square. So time complexity will be o n square for this problem statement. So guys, if you like this video, uh, if, if you understood the concept, please give a thumbs up, give your review on this. I will be keep bringing such questions here. Uh, our team is working for uh, you to get such free content. So please uh, motivate us by liking our video and subscribing our channel. Thank you guys.